Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I have a 2014 Dodge uh, Grand Caravan and I have an issue with the climate controls not working for the first 10, 20, 30 seconds while this rear defroster button is working. So in this video I will explain you why is this happening and what you have to do and which parts to use to fix this. Now most of these newer body line Dodge Grand Caravans have uh, self-adjustable blend door actuator. So what that means, every time you start your van, this uh, system will go through self-adjustment. So it will pretty much test each of the blank door actuators. And that's what is happening while this rear, rear defroster is blinking. So pretty much the car, the system is testing each blend door and each blend door actuator. In normal circumstances, this test should take less than one second. So as soon as you start your van, the climate control should start working and blowing air. But if one of the actuators fail, then you will have this blinking light. There is a catch to all of this, but I will tell you that later. First, I will talk a bit more about this problem. So the only way you can pretty much diagnose which of the four actuators is actually bad is by connecting the more expensive scanner, which can access the HVAC system. And that way you can start the self-adjustment process and then you can see which of the four uh, actuators failed. Other way you can figure it out, they usually um, make clicking noise. So if one of the actuators is, is bad, you'll hear, you'll hear like click, 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 click. And that's the sound of the blend door being stuck because the blend door actuator is not opening or closing all the way. Now, to cut the story short, on this van I had two failed blend door actuators. It was the front passenger side and it was the rear one. And uh, I replaced both of them and I still have this problem. But why do I still have this problem? Because the self-adjustment test is not passing. Although both of my new replacements, replacement actuators work properly. So everything works but this is still blinking. This is happening because you have to you have to replace the actuators with the OEM actuators so Mopar actuators which you have to buy at the Dodge dealership I replace with Dorman and I have two new Dorman actuators they both work fine but the car is not passing self-adjustment so I tried a couple of brands I tried Dorman I tried the SKP same thing is happening the self-test is failing failing and failing so like i said you'll have to go with the oem parts i spoke to a couple of mechanics about this this is the most common issue and unfortunately you will have to spend some money and replace with the right parts um i know like the doorman here in canada is like 25 bucks skp was like 21 bucks but the oem will cost me 115 dollars each so that's that's the hard part and i'm in a car sales business and there's absolutely no way i can sell this vehicle without without the climate controls working right away because if it's cold there will be no heat for the first half minute if it's hot there will be no ac for the first 20 30 seconds so oem parts is the way to go now i know this is not a fixed video in the description below you can find the link to the video how to how to replace the rear actuators um, this is just the explanatory video and hopefully this will help you to realize what you have to do and to replace the right actuator with the oem part okay thank you for watching my video if it was helpful please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos car reviews product reviews and other similar automotive topics